Hello guys, welcome back. This is Praveen Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, currently working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. In one of my videos, a recent comment uh, from one of the subscribers is to create a key vault using Bison. So today we are going to learn how to create a key vault resource using Bison. Let's get started. I already created a folder. So we are going to create a new module. We'll name it as key vault. Key vault dot bicep. Now just type walls. Just type key vault and then select this. It should give us the complete code required for creating a key vault and at the same time creating access policies as well. So now let's modify this code. Let's create a parameter called key vault name with a string and parameter for location as well so resource group is a method which gives you the resource group location and we are going to create our resource in that location itself replace the text with the parameter and then replace this with actual parameter and key vault needs tenant id now you can retrieve it via subscription function which gives us the tenant id and access policy also needs tenant id you can do this like this and then access policy is basically an array now this block creates access policy for the user whose object ID is specified here. Now, I am the owner of this key vault and I also want to get access to this particular key vault. Okay, so I can specify my access using access policies. So I have to fetch my object ID. So in order to get my object ID, I need to log into Azure mm -hmm. portal and navigate to Microsoft Entra ID. You might have heard about a recent name change. Azure Active Directory now is called as Microsoft Entra ID. Click on that. Click on Users and search for yourself. I have two accounts. This is the current account to whom I need to provide access, and here is the object ID. Now specify the object ID, and here, as you can see, the permissions get permission on keys list get, and of course, you can add set as well. If at all you want to create secrets, you need to have set permission as well. Okay, that's it. Now let's save it. And before saving, let's provide a name to the key vault. AZ Bicep Key Vault 0. Some meaningful name, unique name. Save it. I already created resource group. Now let's deploy our bicep code into this resource group. Let me copy this.
the command is correct and the code is also correct it should start the deployment of the key vault resource into the resource group specified here yeah. now it says it's running let's see the progress in the resource group here it says one deploying the key vault module is getting deployed yeah it is successful now click on overview and now here we can see the key vault resource got created that's it for this video if you have any such questions please provide your feedback or any questions in the comment section i'll make sure i'll respond to your questions thank you guys bye bye